okay, you're gonna show you from scripture that interracial marriage, miscegenation, whatever you want to call it, brings down the wrath of God. Okay? This is a very serious sin. Some say, oh, it's not a big deal, the Bible permits it. The Bible very much condemns it, and it's a sin that will bring down the wrath of God, just like sodomy, just like abortion, just like any other wicked sin. Numbers chapter 25, verses 1 to 4. And Israel abode in Shittim, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods, and the people did eat and bow, and bow down to their gods. And Israel joined herself with Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord might be turned away from Israel. What was going on? They were committing whoredom with the daughters of Moab. They were mixing with another kindred. Now, obviously, this was addressed to Israel, but it shows that when they were, when the two kindreds were inter intermarrying, it says it would bring down it would bring down God's anger. It was kindling the wrath of God. So Moses Moses had, was told by God to go take care of it, because it would kindle the anger of God. It's a very serious sin. Ezra, chapter ten, verses ten to fourteen. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed, transgressed, and have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore, that make confusion unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourselves from the people of the land, and from the strange wives. Then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so what must we do? But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without, neither is this a work of one day or two, for we, ha for we are many that have transgressed, transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the congregation stand, and let, them, let all them that ha which have taken strange wives in our cities come at appointed times, and with them the elders of every city, and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter to be turned from us. Now I do apologize, I'm just not good at reading stuff on a computer. So I want to get in the habit of reading things on my physical King James Bible because I have a better time reading that. Because I can't read stuff on a screen that well. But you see there, they were mixing with strange wives. This wasn't a religious thing. They were mixing with other kindreds. There's no not one mention of, oh, the, it wasn't, basically they'll say, oh, it was, a, it was a matter of religion. They were a different religion. There's not one mention of that in this passage. It's all about kindred. And and they have them to separate, and then it says, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter be turned from us. So it was going to bring on a fierce wrath of God if they did not turn from this sin. Interracial, quote unquote, marriage is a very wicked sin in the eyes of God. So don't be deceived by this modern day pro miscegenation talk. My cat just walked in. It is an end times heresy. Christians have historically opposed it, and it is a wicked sin, just like sodomy, just like abortion. Just like pornography, fornication, bestiality, all that stuff. It's all perversion. It's all wickedness. So don't be deceived by all this end times insanity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.